Hello uh, to everyone. Uh, this is a demo that shows how to use CK Soft to solve uh, differential and algebraic equations. So in this example, we use a diffusion equation, set it up, and then uh, run it and uh, show how uh, CK Fluid uh, solves it. So uh, the setup is very, very uh, straightforward. We have two uh, domains that we are going to implement one by one and then show how it works. When we start CK Fluid Soft, we get uh, this main uh, window, and uh, from this point we have uh, uh, three options. So the last option allows us to uh, set up any type of uh, geometry. The second option is uh, for uh, rectangular or parallel or cylindrical uh, geometry. Uh, the first one is when we want to just uh, study uh, the, some chemistry or chemical reactions. So let's set up uh, the uh, the domain that we want to use. The, we use uh, this place to store our data. So this is uh, where we are going to store it and then run this example. So after we click, we get uh, this main uh, window. And then from here, we are going to build uh, a polygon with a curve uh, boundaries. So we use uh, this kind of boundaries of, of curves to set up this uh, geometry. We use four boundaries. So let's connect this point to make up a complete contour. So let's uh, combine the nodes to make sure that they represent single points. We then uh, move and then resize the geometry by pulling on the uh, control point. So this is uh, basically what we, the kind of geometry we have. We can change the size uh, of uh, by changing the axis uh, dimensions. So we make it to represent a domain by clicking on all these uh, sides as they make a closed contour then that gives us the domain. In this domain, there are two uh, default equations that are uh, set up by default. We change them. We just need one equation in this example. We delete the second one, and then we update the first one to suit what we want. We can make it directly by uh, clicking and then on the components and then making what uh, we need. So we need a SR term, a source term, equal to zero. So by the way, we could also just use any uh, of the predefined equations here and then set it up inside, clicking in this box as well. So this gives us the equation that has two parameters in blue, dx, the x, y is set up to be 1. The source term is set up to be a, an expression, k multiplied by w. We take the power of p, which is a variable. So we have k and p, which represents variables. So we set them up as parameters in this parameter pane. So P, we set P to 1. It could be any expression, any mathematically val val valid expression. And then K, we set K to 0. So now we have uh, set up that. Now we have to define the boundary, uh, the boundary conditions. So the boundary conditions are by default, they are um, adiabatic. So for each of these sides, we can click on each of the side and then set it up. So in this case, we choose the opaque boundary conditions gives the possibility of many boundary types. So there are about five here. We, say, we select this one. F is the variable, FBC is the value that we set at the boundary. 
So FBC could be any mathematically valuable um, expression. So we set it to 10. And then this one again, we set it, we set the opaque. And then we select the same one. And then we set the value to 10. For the two sides, we select again opaque. We select again F. Then we set the value to 100. And then the other one, we do the same. We select opaque. We select this one. And then we set the value to 100. OK. After we have done this, now we have to set up the initial conditions. So in this case, initial conditions are just initial guesses. So the value will be between, as we, as we know, between uh, 0 and 100. Let's set an initial condition of 20. It could be also set to 0 or any value, but initial guesses, uh, they better be close to what might be the solution. So once we get this, we can then mesh it up. So we get our mesh. So as we get the mesh, we can prepare it. We click on setup. That will compile. So the compilation has been successful. We can run now the, to get the, the, uh, the results. So continue. We've run it. The numerical results are shown here. And then we can uh, say yes to show the graphical result as well. So these are the graphical results. So the numerical results are still there. And then we have both numerical and graphical results. So this, this is what we, we get uh, from this solution. So we have 100 on the red and then 0 on the other side. So we can then uh, use our mouse and then drag it along the geometry and see the different values that we have within this domain. So these are the values that we can read directly from the mouse. We can uh, also uh, customize this graph. We may want to see the way the actual mesh uh, looks like. So if we click here, it will show us the, the mesh that we had in the other figure. Then we can also see the centers and the corners of the meshes. So all these values can be uh, displayed. We can also customize the titles of uh, the, the, the graph. And then, and then we can also change the name of our graph in the header there. So if we click here, we can then come and change uh, here. So polygon. Um, the equation so we change so that uh, what we have here then we can also plot the results along the as a given line to do that we come here select a line then position the line in the direction of the values that we would like to plot so we want to plot it this direction. We put the line. We then will ask the software to, to get a number of points along the line and then plot them. So by default, it's 10. It could be more than 10 if the geometry is very big. Then we have 10. And then we click here. Then it gets the values and plots them. So this is uh, the result that we get from this data. So it's almost like a straight line. By moving our mouse along the lines, so we see the values along the lines. So this is the case for all the graphs that we have within uh, CK Flow with Soft. So these are the results. We don't want to see this uh, line anymore. We just select no, none of the line. In the same time, we can also copy this graph and then paste it into Word, PowerPoint, Excel, or any other software. By right-clicking, copy, we'll copy it. Save, we'll also save it. Uh, save it in a in a certain file uh, as one wishes. 
So this is uh, what we have with CK Resolved. Now, uh, let's uh, do the case for the other uh, geometry. Let's start with a new, uh, a new, uh, a new, and fresh uh, project. So here we have to uh, design a, a polygon with uh, five sides. So this key will ha help to design any uh, uh, number of uh, polygon triangles, squares, uh, hexagon, and so on. So we, we have three. And then here, the fifth one is the connection. So we have the polygon. So we would like to set up this example that we see here. So we have 20, 100, 20, 50. So let's go uh, here. We do the same, adiabatic, but we change to opaque. Opaque condition. So that will be opaque. We have two equations in the system. We are going to delete the second one next uh, uh, after we finish to set up the conditions for the first equation. We set up here. Here we have set here. It is uh, 20. And then this value, let's set it to 20. This one, we, s we do the same. Opaque. This one is uh, 100. So let's check again. 20 and 50. We do the same again. Opaque. Select that for the first. 20 again. This one will be 50. We do the same. We select opaque. Then the value we set is 50. So the last one is uh, still adiabatic. We leave it like that. So when we created this uh, domain, by default, uh, two equations have been created. So we have to remove the, the second one. So luckily, uh, the type of equation that we have is actually the one we would like to use. We just, uh, we just want to remove, uh, uh, let's, let's put it like that. Uh, we would like to get this one here, which is the same. We remove that. And then we set up X, we pull it there so we can see the full. Here we do the same clear K multiplication. We take the power, put the value of P. Okay, so we have two parameters, we specify them here P equal to 1. K equal to zero, and then we have specified our equation. So after we have done that, we have one equation inside. Then what we we have already defined the boundary conditions for that equation. Then we need to specify initial conditions or initial guess. We set it to 20. So that is it. Um, so this is what we have right now. We can then mesh it, prepare it to run, then run it to get the result. So it's solved. We have the numerical result in the background. Then we can uh, view also the numerical uh, solutions displayed uh, graphically. So this is our graphical result that we get 
in the same as the other one so we can move the mouse around and view what the values look like within the domain we can plot alongside the line this time we can plot alongside uh, a parabola so this is a, a line that we want to use we drag it and we just want to plot values alongside this this line so this is the line we want to use so that we plot alongside of this line along the line and then we click on plot that will plot alongside the parabolic line and we can view the values along that line so that's uh, the that example uh, we can go back and then update the value of k k was zero we can uh, put k to some uh, some values let's put k to to a negative value as uh, to so to show a disappearance 0 0.1 so we put it to a negative value that's k now we have a different problem we run it also it will then compile and run so that's the process so after clicking there we continue then we have our graphical result displayed in the background so if we do yes then we will see the graphical result uh, shown which will be different from the previous one so this is the result that we have which is different from the other one that we got when k was a value of zero so we see this is the other uh, result that we get by changing the value of k so uh, this is how one can use uh, ck fluid soft to solve the, uh, the problem so we can display the mesh here of course our initial geometry is still uh, in the background so all the uh, graphics that we got with this problem can be uh, still uh, displayed we just advise uh, that uh, opening too many graphics consumes uh, heap memory so it's good to do one problem one by one so we can view our, all our graphics and then display each one of the results that we just run so this is it for this uh, demo uh, examples so thank you for your interest in using CKFlow with soft